you know, one of the things we know about America and about business is how country is survives on small businesses. Small businesses hire more people than the larger corporations when you put them all together. And uh, in Augusta, we are fortunate to have uh, quite a few uh, businesses that we are proud of, especially in our community, especially when it comes to family businesses. One of those businesses has uh, been around with the Brown family, and uh, we thought we'd bring them on, and we're fortunate to have not only Keith Brown, we, we have uh, Mr. Russell Joe Brown as well with us today. How, how you guys doing? Doing very well. Fantastic. Thank, thank you so you. much for having us. Good. Thank you for thank you for sharing. Tell us about the business. We've always passed there. You're right there by Payne College. Mm -hmm. What was the name of the business when it first started? Uh, the name of the company was First Impressions. Okay. Um, I am in the custom screen printing and embroidery business. I've been uh, on the same in the same location for 33 years. Wow and in the business for 40 years. All right. So what were you doing? What were happen what's happening before the 33? Um, Station wagon, vans. <laughs> flea markets, vans, <laughs> selling on the street. Uh, right. But I studied at Howard University, came home and opened a business in 1983 down on 9th Street at that time when 9th Street was a popular uh, and busy, busy location. From there I moved to Broad Street, and then to Laney Walker, and was able to purchase the building where I am now. Oh, yeah, right, right, good. Yes, sir. Uh, and, and Russell, I know you have a lot going on in there, but uh, how, how, did you, how did you interact with the business early on? Well, quite honestly, this is my hero. Okay. I mean, it's my big brother. I have several big brothers and big sisters as well, but um, Keith has been kind of my living, breathing, everyday hero, mm -hmm. and I have always supported him tried to support him in the way that he supports me. Right now. Well, we love fam we love the idea when families, I think God created families to be together and support each other. That's we right. Somebody and, and to see you guys and Karen and everybody else pitch in and doing great things for the community, I think it's awesome. Well, thank, thank you. you. Good. Thank but you. unfortunately, there was a fire that took place, how long ago? No, so on the evening of June the 4th of this year, nice. uh, there was a fire uh, next door to me mm -hmm. Eight of the ten office buildings were burned to the ground. Wow. Uh, my business, of course, was affected by that. Um, my building at first was condemned, and that was the condemnation was removed. Mm -hmm. But we are in the process of having to remodel and bring everything up to code before we can reopen. Yeah, well, good. And, and like so one of the things we you know. I mean, listen, I think I can identify the what nineteen. 98, 99, we had the same problem oh, wow. over on Martin Luther King, our business burned and uh, and the community just kind of came in. It, man, we had people coming from everywhere just putting up sheetrock and doing everything nice. like that to help us out. And you have set up a, a GoFundMe for, uh, for, our, our, uh, for our community to kind of assist in getting you back in the building. Yes, so Keith has been so um, supportive of the community. Mm -hmm. um, he prints for all of the schools, he prints for sororities and fraternities, mm -hmm. and um, is really like a, a good corporate citizen. Mm -hmm. And so I decided, you know, we should, we as a community should step forward to see if we can help him. So I set up a, a GoFundMe campaign and um, it is doing well, but of course, as you know, it's very expensive to rebuild a business, right. especially a business of 33 years. And so we're just asking for the community support to um, help us get uh, first impressions back on the map. Okay. You know? And one of, the way, one of the ways we can do that is like so through the GoFundMe, and it, it doesn't matter how much small amount, it just, just, just give every dollar. Yes. Uh, Absolutely. So we can support, we need to keep our businesses open, they're closing all across the country, but anything we can do, and I, I would encourage folks, let's, let's make this happen. That's right, that's yeah. right. And you know, one of the things that I've seen on uh, online is that when you support a small business, it, play, it pays for ballet lessons, that's it right. pays for, you know, shoes for children. It pay, I mean, you know, it's not like going to Walmart. Walmart is gonna line the pockets of the stockbroker. Is that right? But these small business, and you're right there in the community, uh, Payne College is right there. I sure. mean, uh, you, you do all those kind of things. I think I got my lane straight from you. Yes, sir. <laughs> you're a teacher. And my junior teacher. Yes, sir. That's right. Maybe That's I should have right. worn that big <laughs> But listen, give us that GoFundMe one more time. Absolutely. It's GoFund, G O F U N D dot M E forward slash one E as in Edward, B as in boy, seven. B as in boy, four, three, three. Okay, we'll put that on the screen as well. Thank you. Y'all, let's help us out. Make, let's make this happen. Uh, for Brother Keith Brown, and we'll keep, we'll keep you posted. Y'all keep us posted how it's going, and we'll, we'll keep it going. Well, we'll, we'll. Thank right. you so much.